It's Andy. So the other day I was sitting in my apartment and I got an email from a company called Bluffworks and they claimed that they had created the best pair of pants for the traveler, for the business person on the go. These guys created the best thing ever. We're talking lots of pockets, the ability to dry out quickly, sturdy, indestructible, any sort of superlative you can imagine. These guys were claiming it. And I said, okay, you're talking a big game. Let's put it to the test. So they sent me a couple pair of their pants. So these are the Bluffworks uh, relaxed fit pants. And I gotta tell you, they look great. They feel good. Now, when it comes to testing out a product, I believe in going through the most thorough test you can. But when it comes to Someone saying they had the best pair of pants specifically designed for travelers in the world. I thought we might need to step it up a bit. It's actually a good test for Bluff Works. So I decided to wear the chinos for this test. This lovely gray color, a little bit tighter fitting around the thigh, but I'm sleeping in the airport terminal tonight. That's really just a few hours nap until the lounge opens. And when you are sleeping in an airport, you need comfortable pants. So if this is the epic traveling pant, I need to be able to camp in the airport with it. Um, yeah, so test number one. Gotta say that's a pass. Nice job. FW Airport, that's right, I flew from Dallas to Chicago, back to Dallas. Well, that's because we're about to put the chinos to a really big test. So last night, we passed the sleeping in airports test. And now, we have a really brutal, brutal test coming up. So I said this next test was pretty brutal. I think I was right. So I'm about to board a long flight and I want to wear the most comfortable pair of pants that I can wear during the long flight. Now, normally I wear my really comfortable pair of jeans, but hey, let's test out these chinos and see just how comfortable they are. And I couldn't have picked a longer flight. Actually, on the longest flight that American Airlines runs in Dallas. Dallas to Hong Kong. About a 16 hour, 45 minute flight today. And I know what you're saying, Andy, you use the flight as in like mega first class, business class, whatever it is. Well, today, I'm flying it in coach. So great news, we made it to Hong Kong. And I gotta tell you, the pants held up wonderfully. They were comfortable the entire flight. Doesn't mean I slept a lot, but not only were they comfortable, but look, they're not wrinkled at all. Like they're supposed to be like wrinkle proof and everything else proof. And so far that looks to be the case. So let's head into Hong Kong, see how they do in an urban environment.
Good morning, everyone. It is just after 5 a.m. here at the Sheraton uh, in Hong Kong on the Kowloon side. So yesterday we were wearing these Bluff Works pants, the chinos. Today, I thought we'd wear the relaxed fit. Something a little bit, uh, it feels a little bit heavier. Um, it feels like it may not breathe as well as the chinos, but it's still very comfortable. And we're gonna go out and try to get a good sunrise picture. Hong Kong has one of the best harbor views, city views in the world, uh, most recognizable skylines in the world as well. We're gonna try to get some sunrise pictures. And no, just because I'm pointing at the pants I'm gonna wear does not mean I'm standing here in my underwear. Okay, maybe it does, but anyways, anyways, okay, let's, let's get out to the harbor. The sunrise is looking pretty solid. If you look here on these buildings across the harbor, let's zoom in a little bit. You can even see the sunlight starting to reflect off those buildings. So let's get the tripod set up, figure out our composition. Let's take an epic picture. So this random old guy just walked by and screamed morning at me. I'm not sure if you heard that on the on the video there. Uh, but he didn't attack me or anything. I think it's because of the pants. I, I don't know. So I think the pants passed the sunrise photography test. Let's see what else we can put them through the day. Let's, let's get a little creative. 